Hello everyone, it's Robert again with Sparkfun Electronics, and it's Friday, so that means more new products. We've got a couple things for you this week, so let's just get right into it and see what we've got. Here we've got a couple of little small parts that might be useful for a lot of different people. If you're using a lot of LEDs, you might find it annoying to add a 330 ohm resistor, or whatever you're using as your current limit resistor, to every single little LED. So we've got bust resistors. These little guys are neat because it's six pins, and five of the pins are resistors, and then it connects to a common pin. So essentially you've got six resistors in a single package. We've got them in a 330 ohm and a 10K ohm, so if you're using a lot of sensors in the same board, instead of doing five 10K resistors, you can just use one of these bust resistors. Here we've got another addition to the LilyPad lineup. These guys are LED sequins. They come in four different colors, they come in packs of five, and they're slightly different from the other LEDs that we have for LilyPad in that they don't have a current limit resistor on them. It's just an LED on a board. Uh, they come in these strips of five, you can just snap them apart. So if you're using a LilyPad main board or a LilyPad simple board, the Arduino really doesn't need the use of a current limiting resistor on it. So you can get away with not using resistor and you can get away with just using these. If you're using these directly with a coin cell battery, you're going to need the current limiting resistor, so use the other ones. So if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper and a little bit smaller, go with the sequins. Here we've got three new products that all work together. First off, we've got this rotary encoder, which actually has an RGB LED inside of it. Then we've got a matching clear knob that goes on top of that. And then we also have this guy, which is a bar graph LED, but in a circular form factor. So you can use the rotary encoder inside of it, such as this. And then when you turn the rotary encoder, you can have the lights go on and off as you turn it. So it's a pretty interesting little combination, these three products. And we've got a little bit of a sneak preview for you because we've got a demo of a prototype that we're working on that hopefully within the next couple weeks should be live on the website. So this is a sneak peek of a prototype board. Do not ask when it will be ready. It will be ready when we get it ready. And here it is. So here we've got everything hooked up into this breakout board. We've got the knob on top of the rotary encoder and we've got the bezel around the edge. And if we put power into this, you can see just exactly how this all works. So we've got an indicator here, and as we spin the knob, it spins around, and you can even see that the color of the knob is changing too. And if we press it, we've got a couple other modes. This is actually binary. And then it can spin around like that. So it's a pretty useful little combination, and the good thing about rotary encoders is that you can just simply increment values up or down. It doesn't necessarily have endpoints like a potentiometer has. So you can take a variable, and as you spin the encoder, it can increment it up or it can increment it down, and in the software, you can set whatever endpoints you want. So these are pretty darn handy, and it's a nice little setup. So wait for the um, breakout board coming soon. So there you go, another bunch of new products for this Friday. We've got some cool stuff, we've got some rotary stuff, we've got some resistor stuff, we've got some light stuff. So check it out, check out the rest of the new product post, and we've got even more on there, and we'll see you again next week.